we've got lot uh, number 17 coming in next. This is 62-10. Uh, she is a direct teardrop daughter. She came out of the same contemporary group as the, the teardrop guilt that won Phoenix and ultimately was a supreme champion purebred female out there, uh, sired by teardrop. And uh, she sold for $30,000 and got a, you know, just an outstanding home. But this is one we kept here at the house, 62-10, uh, is a teardrop daughter that came from that group. And I love this thing. Uh, I don't know if she's a whole, whole lot different off the mark there from that, that high dollar female that hung the big banner. But I love the pedigree on this female. She would be a direct daughter of uh, Jimmy T, 42-3. And uh, Jimmy T's uh, creating his own path in the Duroc breed. You know, some of his sons and grandsons are just absolutely lighting it up in terms of getting some things done and, done and making uh, the Duroc ancestry even stronger with uh, the coming generations. And the mother, the grandmother of this sow, this little gilt here would be back road 145-7. And here's another, the, the third matriarch to the, RW, to the RW genetics program. So... Uh, if you're talking about Dur uh, Duroc Heritage, she's a little bit of an outcross here at RW Genetics being out of teardrop, but on the mother's side, make no mistake about it, she goes back to some of the most elite females uh, here at RW Genetics. Uh, love that 42-3 uh, sow, and her great-grandmother is the herd builder um, that we've been building around. This skill's carrying a litter by Battleground. Uh, Battleground's a boar that uh, is now up at Crossroads. He would be, uh, he would be out of the, the, the bomb squad, 41-6 female. And Battlegrounds, uh, uh, Battleground would be sired by Mamba Mentality. Mamba Mentality, his mother, was back road 145.7. So we're tying back to that same back road 145.7 sow as the great-grandmother on both sides of the pedigree and a super elite female that we we're building around. And, and uh, if you don't like this one, man, we'll be happy to keep her. But Teardrop's had a great run. He's going to have a lot of influence in the Duroc breed in the coming years. But we like this one a great deal. Again, that good basic build like you expect out of the program. Extension up front, elevation. Watch her reach and go. Uh, length of stride off of both ends, extremely good. Gets her hock behind her tail head and, and gets after it. And, again, she's in the right condition to, to kind of raise those litters. And it, this should be a killer mating there. I saw that back road or that uh, battleground hog up there at Crossroads uh, there this spring. He's really an impressive hog. It's really dense and stout in his skull and very heavy structured and will blend so good with this type of a program. And, you know, what does she have and what does she offer? Uh, uh, basically what the rest of these red sows renter offer, they offer balance and basic build, and that wins hog shows. Uh, the biggest legged one or the one traded one in one area or another uh, doesn't get you there. Usually it will be third because you're deficient someplace. But when you can balance them like this and have this kind of look, uh, just plan on getting something done with that uh, through a program that, uh, again, goes back through the ages in these red ones. Last pass, straight out. And that, again, that is lot 17, 62-10. Yeah, this one really fires me up, and she looks a lot like Grandma. The comfort level and flexibility is just uh, lights out in this particular mating. Underlying quality, she looks like a lady, like a female, and uh, we're offering you some pretty nice females. She will be, she's got a little age on her, but she will be coming with her first litter, 62-10.